Grant Capel is joining us now with this edition of Talk of the Town. He's a general manager of the Boathouse. Good to see you again. It's been a while. It is. Yeah. So for the viewers, remind us exactly where your locations are. I know we were just talking that your big sales shop is in Okatee, but you have Palmetto Bay and yep. then Square Pope. Yes, yeah, so we do service out of Palmetto Bay, and okay. then we have sales and service out of uh, uh, and storage at our Squire Pope location, the Boathouse, mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, sales and service and some storage at our Okatee location as well. All right, so there's a big boat show that is going to be going on the last weekend in February in Savannah, and you all will be there with a lot of your boats for sale. Yeah, it's probably one of the best times of the year to uh, for everybody who's thinking about having their boat in spring, uh, summer, to uh, get an opportunity to look at a variety of different boats, all the dealers in the, in the mm -hmm. area, combine, um, put together all their stuff, and we, we hang out at the convention center for a few days. Um, obviously, um, it gives you an opportunity to compare different brands and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's compare all the different brands and then come to us and get the boat you need. So, um, Grady White, Sea Hunt, Parker, G3, Hurricane, those are all popular. I'm not a boning person. What? So, <laughs> I'd like to be, yeah. but um, so those are all very popular mm -hmm. high-end brands. Yeah. What, what's the difference between? Well, so the, the, obviously everyone wants to compare boats and cars together. So the way right. that I kind of do it is that so Grady White would be your Lexus, oh, okay. uh, and Sea Hunt would be your Toyota. So uh, you know just the difference between uh, a, you know premium brand, a little bit more finished versus. Um, you know, something that mm -hmm. looks good, feels good, and, and works the way you want it to. And then, of course, price is always involved in all of that. And so, you, now Yamaha, that obviously is another brand, and you've got a sale going on right now. Yeah, so Yamaha, for the first time in two years, has um, a, um, extended the warranty free for two, uh, two additional years uh, through, and this, this particular uh, um, is going through March 31st, so okay. uh, it's a great time for the, at the boat show. Uh, if, you, if you pick up a boat during the boat show or in the next 30 days, that you're going to get an additional do, two years on your on your uh, outboard motor. So would that be Yamaha? Is that kind of a middle of the road kind of price wise, or is that more of the Honda? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, un, unlike boats, so uh, there are uh, I guess three major brands of out, uh, outboard motors, and then in our area, Yamaha is the most popular okay. brand. Uh, simply, uh, probably does the best in the saltwater market. So what, um, Grant? Tell you know, tell us what are types of boats are very popular in this area? Are they? <laughs> So everyone, so it really is kind of funny. Uh, so, I mean, the biggest argument between, it, so this family voting, right? <clears throat> so uh, the decision is made both by husband and wife. Um, and then, and then it gets down to the, you know, the battle of the sexes. So you have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have majority of uh, women would like a, a dual console boat because it has more seating. It has, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it just has that look about what they want. Mm -hmm. And of course the uh, hardcore, uh, manly boat is a center console, you know, I'm going to okay. go fishing, I'm going to do things right. like that. And so uh, the cool thing mm -hmm. is that uh, the industry recognizes that and have uh, really kind of designed boats, uh, center consoles that can meet the needs of, of both family members. Uh, and then also just the kind of the technology has changed a little bit on motor, so it's not unreasonable to expect a, a dual console to be a really good fishing boat. Okay. What about pontoons? Are they popular in this area? We, we're trying to make them more popular than they have been. Why? Uh, simply because it is, um, it is probably one of the best sandbar boats, right? Simply okay. because it's light, it's easy to maneuver, right. and you can put a lot of people on it. So you can bring right. your friends and, and, right. and your friends' friends. Um, and the technology in that has been going to uh, triple log pontoons. So not really a pontoon, but three... Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. three pontoons and so they are they are much better at traversing our waters which is Calabogie okay. Sound um, you know mm -hmm. to Chessy River and Port Royal okay so very good so again if you have any questions about boats well Grant Capel with the boathouse can answer all that you can go to the the show in Savannah which is the last weekend in February or go out to one of of their locations thank you Grant for being with us on our show sure